Welcome back to Living 808. Hawaii Island is looking to revitalize and rebuild itself. This means educating both Kama'aina and tourists about places to see but not uh, and also not to go. Yeah, you don't want to go to too many places without some consent. <laughs> yes, guaranteed. Well, today we head over to Polalu Valley, a place that has seen an increase in visitors, but there is a message for everyone who intends on going there. Hawaii Island holds a lot of significance to the people of Hawaii and we want to talk about the significance of Pololu Valley and here to tell us more we bring in Auntie Sarah. How are you Auntie? I'm good thank you. Aloha. So could you share with all of our viewers the significance of the valley especially our Hawaii residents? The significance is it's very sacred to us. Uh, my ancestors are buried in the valley and King Kamehameha grew up in, in this valley so you know it's very very special to me and I want to keep it that way. Yeah um, I did some research and your last name holds a significant connection to the valley. Could you tell us about that? Pule? Yes. Yes. Well my my ancestors are Pule and Mokus in the valley but um, also the highway over here is named after my grandpa Akoni Pule Highway so my roots are really deep here. So let's, I want to um, share with all of our viewers what your concerns are about the valley and the lookout. Okay, I was born and raised here and I lived here all my life. I've seen the difference with too much people and I want to limit the people that comes here. It hurts to see Pololu with too much people. If you see somebody hurting, you're going to help the person. And I see Polulu hurting. 500 to 700 people a day is too much. We need to help. Like Waipio is so glowing now without traffic. We need to do it here. We need to limit and stop all the traffic going down. 500 to 700 a day, but there was one time where it reached its thousands, yes. right? Yes, during Christmas break, it was a thousand plus. The beach was like Waikiki Beach. Wow, and okay, so I wanna talk a little bit about the steward program, uh, something that you are involved in. Could you tell all of our Hawaii residents about the steward program? It started with our little community in here, New Lee community. Uh, we saw what was going on here and we want to protect. So that's why we're called Protect Polulu Ohana. And we started meeting at, you know, having meetings and we continue to um, talk about what we can do. So our committee got in touch with the, uh, Naalahele and spoke with uh, Jackson Bauer and they worked together with the Hawaii Visitors Bureau and we're here. Speaking of working together, what can we as a Hawaii community do to help support? Tell the people don't come. I mean, I'm serious and I'm sorry I'm saying it that way, but we don't want more visitors. This was not a tourist destination. This was the end of the road. When I was growing up, this parking lot was full only on Saturdays and Sundays, and there was only six cars and it was local people. But now it's every day and all day. Today, it's not as busy because we have that triathlon going on, but it can get crazy here. Sometimes having just two stewards here is not enough. Only one steward is scheduled, but we have volunteers that come and help us out. But with the, um, the newly community, for us to start the stewardship, you know, we even had um, our students from Kohala High School who did a video and they, they talked about how they feel too. Is These are younger generations and how they feel and they don't want to have this place overflowing too. Okay, so if anybody wanted to learn more information about the steward program, um, where can they go to learn more? Protectpolulu.org and you can see a lot of stuff that's been posted. We've, we've got videos. We got videos of the students at Kohol High School. We got videos of uh, us here, and the LNR had took a video too. So you can see a virtual um, tour of Polulu because we have pictures that will show you things of how it looks. You don't need to go down there. You can see them all on online. 
Perfect. That's protectpolulu.org. And we'll have more information on khwin2.com if you want to just have a one-stop shop to check out everything. Ati Sarah, thank you so much for talking to myself <laughs> and all of our Living It Away viewers. All right. Mahalo. You guys have a good day. <laughs> Mahalo, Mikey, for a great story talking about Polalu Valley and how we should continue to Malama. Uh, so we have more on our website, so check them out. But also, let's be vigilant wherever we're coming from and visiting all of these areas. Now, from the valley to the coast.